Hello, I'm doing a recording on uh, the front brakes of a 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Uh, there's other videos on there, but I've got the different kind of brakes, and I'm sure there's other people too. Uh, that's what they look like. And uh, I picked them up from uh, O'Reilly's Auto. These are the tools that I use to do the other side, 7mm Allen wrench. So, let me get started. Okay, so here's with the tire off. Make it a little easier. You probably want to turn your wheel. And uh, right here, those are where you need to take the caps off. And they'll expose that Allen wrench. These ones are stuck. I'm going to have to grab a screwdriver. Oh, never mind. And uh, you take that off. And then you need to take that off. You can do it. Either way, it doesn't really matter. But uh, that okay, so there's that. They shouldn't be on there too too tight. I think the uh, specs are only 14 pounds. So should come off pretty. Okay, once so they don't come all the way out, at least mine haven't, and uh, sometimes you gotta just work them out as far out as they can go. And there's that one. Oh, that was a little more difficult than the other side. So now you need to compress the pistons back into the brake drum. And I just use the C clamp. Four inch works fine on this car. Try to get it as centered as you can. And very slowly work its 
work the pistons back into the Then you should know when it's done. They don't go all the way back in. Like you would think they that's about where they stop, somewhere in there. But just take your time and you'll get it. So now the old ones come out. Snap in. These ones you just slide slide back into place on that side and it should go on nice and easy just like that now you put your screws back in And again, once you, they don't need to be torqued down. Only four pounds of pressure, so. Or 14, something. something like that. Should go in pretty smoothly. Okay. I'm grab this again. Just give it a tap with a hammer. She'll go right in the place. Now you put your caps back on so that no more dirt gets in. Now you put your tire back on and should be all set to go. That's how you put brakes on a Jeep 2000 Jeep Grand Cherokee.